Sundays, church, very ordinary. When Jacob was on the run from Esau, his brother, and was fleeing to Laban, his uncle, he stopped off at a place called Luz and uh, he slept the night there. While he was sleeping, he had a dream. He saw the ladder and angels ascending and descending. And when he woke up in the morning, it tells us in Genesis 28, 17, he was afraid. And he said, this is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. The ordinary had suddenly become extraordinary. The supernatural had come in. In Psalm 24, what starts with a kind of general observation, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. Okay, God's in his heaven, we're on earth, it all belongs to him, that's nice. But it begins slowly to focus in. It starts to move in verse 3. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. It's reminding us that God is holy and as we approach him, there it's talking about the hill in Jerusalem where the temple was built and where the worshippers came. There we begin to reflect on our hands and our hearts. Are we polluted and corrupted or have we maintained a purity? Can we expect the blessing? But going from the earth to the hill is not enough. In verse 7, lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and lift them up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. It reminds us here of the very holy place that we enter into through the blood of Jesus Christ. We come not just to flesh and blood, not just to the ordinary, but to the extraordinary, the supernatural, the glorious company of the worshipping host, unseen to us, but very real. Let's remember, this is the house of God. This is the very gate of heaven. And we are ushered in. It's glorious. Who is the King of glory? It's the Lord Jesus Christ. We've come to him. Who are all the hosts? Angelic and human. The people of God gathered. And you are numbered amongst them.